taller than me. <laughs> I meant, I meant we haven't got big numbers of staff, not that I, Jack, were really little, it's only me that's really little. <laughs> and obviously I've got people in my head. <laughs> I agree. Always got people in my head. Um, and our Andy in tech office. Uh, now, it is lovely to have... I'm sorry, yeah, it's, it is Emily and our Webster who's in my um, head. Who's on reception currently? Is that John on reception and John's on reception? That's about it. That's about it. John's asleep on reception. No, he isn't. He's not. Anyway, I'll stop, I'll stop going through the... <laughs> um, we have, however, got people on the phone lines uh, ready to take your calls. Uh, we've also got Joe, who we will be talking to um, in this hour. Fingers crossed, um, because we have got an incredible line of products for you. Now, Daily Arts, I love these products. The prices are always phenomenal, and they bring us some really cool stuff. Now, this first collection, look at all of this that you're getting. So, so you've got um, your Cracker Lacker. I like that. Crackle lacquer, crackle lacquer, crackle lacquer. Um, so you've got some incredible products here. I like the size of these because they're really good for proper having a, a little play. So you step one and step two with your crackle uh, lacquer, crackle lacquer. Um, so as it says on the tube, step one, step two, easy peasy. That's that one. You've then got your gloss varnish. You've got matte and you've got a gloss varnish there. So that will allow you to seal your... Um, your creations but i like using a varnish because it gives you that really nice finished touch you've then got your cracker lacquer again so you've got your small cracker lacquer and then your big your large cracker lacquer uh, which is fabulous so it gives you those really really cool crackles um you've then got within this collection metallic pigment now this isn't your only tub of metallic pigment that's a massive tub of metallic pigment but look at all of these all of these are pigment powders. You have got so many colours. The blues, you've got beautiful, like, um, metal colours, the gorgeous brown, the gold, the silvers. I mean, this is just such a beautiful collection. And these have got an incredible pearlescent sheen to them. So, because you're getting these in powder format, um, and it's up to you. You might keep them in the mags. You might want mags, the bags. You might want to decant them into little jars. The choice is yours. Um, the nice thing about these, you can mix all your colours, but you can obviously add them to your your crackle lacquer. Um, <laughs> you can add them to your um, if you've got just just paint with them. So just add them to water if you want to. You can add them to a gel medium if you've got a gel medium. Um, they're going to work with so many fantastic products which will allow you to make your own, say, um, beautiful pearlescent gel medium or your own pearl spritzers. So you might be adding them to um, a spritzer bottle. You can do all sorts and I think you'll agree the colours are just gorgeous. You've got so many different colours. Now these are all fine five gram bags of pigment that will last um, because it's one of those that you can mix and match absolutely stunning look at that now the price 32.98 you're getting a lot for your money when you think about it if you were paying for all those micas normally how much would you normally pay for a full mica collection and when you look at this you are getting a huge mica collection i mean how many colors have we got there three six seven eight nine should be two 25 colours. That is amazing. Plus, of course, the crackle lacquer. Uh, let me show you your wonderful crackle. I do like saying that, Donna. So that, can you see? It's a bit hard to see on camera. But that shows you the small crackle. I can see it perfectly, but obviously because it's shiny, it can be a little bit hard to see um, on camera. I might. Well, we've got... Um, when we've got a little the RVT, I'll go over with a little bit of the bit bitum. I love that stone. Bitumen, that's how to say it. I can never say it, but I love it. I'll go over with a bit of that. You can see it on there. I mean, that is such a cool piece. Uh, this is from Alison. I really like that. You can see the crackle, the bitumen she's used on there. And I love these stamps. I just think they're fabulous. Please come in. We're ready. No, we're already disturbed. I love it. I think that's fabulous. I would absolutely go in. <laughs> um, beautiful. Uh, this is from Alison as well. And Alison's used loads of gorgeous uh, things on here, but she's also used the fantastic crackle on there. And she's used the bitumen. 
Am I saying that right? Yes. Um, I absolutely love it. I love it. And you can see the crackle. See, I love a crackle glaze. Look at that. Doesn't that look effective? Absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you would like to get hold of this, 464909 is your item number. Um, just £32.98. You're getting so much for your money there. Do not miss out on that kit. It's absolutely lovely. Now, next, this is another really cool collection. Um, I've, now, if straight away in here, that wonderful bitumen really like this i use that a lot that is in my my you know my trundle of stuff that i take everywhere with me it's a cracker is that one now you've also got in this i'll show you this is a really cool kit because look you're getting um some lovely step-by-step -step ideas so really cool step-by-step -step ideas on creating rust um, our, our rust looking effects. So that's your beautiful um, inspiration, but then of course you're getting product. So you're getting product that will allow you to create these effects. You get your empty spritzer bottle for starters so you can spritz it on. You're then getting your wood glue um, and of course you'll read the instructions for the effects. You're then getting the, um, the copper patina there. So that is going to give you that incredible rust finish. The bitumen that will give you that, uh, I love this, because that it gives you a really nice weathered look. Because you kind of put it on and then take the excess back off again. It's really cool. Texture. You've got the sand texture, perfect for creating your rust. You've then got your drying time extender. Um, the instructions are going to tell you how to use these products. And I love that because that you'll be able to use with the paints. And you're getting a really good selection of paints here. I mean, have a look at that. So you've got um, white, you've got red ochre there, you've got that beautiful grey, you've got the blue, you've also got the um, turquoise, the green, the yellow, and then the saddle brown. So lovely paints. And the really, if I open one of these and show you, because these, you get a lot for your money. Look, and they're really quite substantial paints. See, it's a thick paint. I'm t oh, there you go, it's not going nowhere. See, it's a really good thick paint. <laughs> it is like a kitchen product. Um, it's a really good thick paint, is that. Hence why you've got your extender. So that, your extender, you'll be able to add it to your paints. It'll make your paints go further, but it also opens them up. So it means they'll stay wet for longer. Um, you've then got your, um, your MDF. So you've got your MDF tags and you've got all your cogs. Now, this is a full kit. And this... For twenty four ninety nine, that's such a good price. Cause look at the kind of thing you can do. How cool are these? And this is what it's going to show you how to do. The techniques will show you these, and I just think they are so cool. So you can see straight away the bitumen. You can see that beautiful uh, patina, the copper patina. You can see the wonderful sand paste in there. Obviously, working on the tags in the kit using the cogs in the kit as well following those instructions it's a really cool kit this one 24.99 you're getting so much for your money and of course you've got i mean that's a big pot of bitumen so you'll be using and you don't need much so you'll be using that over and over again that one's been used with um that has been used uh, on that wonderful um, tag. You've then got the paints. Obviously, you've got loads of paints there, um, which are absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. Um, really, really like this kit. Now, if you do want to get hold of this, it's only twenty four ninety nine. It's a really, really good kit. Um, eight two three three six zero. That's your item number. Now, the inks. I didn't get time to play as much as I wanted to. I only got a chance to squirt two inks. These are gorgeous. <gasps> okay, so I thought, do you know what? For a minute there, I thought 11 99 for all, all of them. It is two options. This is your first option. So this has got the yellow, the orange, that beautiful green. I know it's the wrong way around, but look, I'm going to do that because then you can see the actual colour. So you can see the olive snow white. Uh, this is such a good kit. You've got aubergine. You've got that beautiful cut grass and the lemon and then that beautiful orange. 
only 11.99 now i didn't get chance to spray all of them i will in the when we've got the vt when we've got but look at the color on that and not only the color but look at the gloss shine isn't that fabulous and that that's completely dry that's dry isn't that fantastic that's the orange look at the yellow I love these. I really like these. And again, the bit at the top's dry, wet, but, um, but that's dry. And it's got that gloss. They're really nice. Really nice. So that's your first set. Only $11.99. Such a good price. The second set. Again, I'll spin these round for you. I mean, that's quite dark. That's a pine green. That one is your beautiful sunny yellow. So maybe not as sort of dark as the other yellow. That beautiful deep blue is gorgeous. Um, we've then got the violet, which is beautiful. We've then got the, um, I will spray these for you. And you've got the gorgeous scarlet, and then we've got, that's like a beautiful, oh, a nice brown and melted chocolate. Now, this is fantastic. Value for money. I'll spray one more, shall I? Well, where are you? Just because I can. Um, I'll just I'll spray one just so you can see so give it a bit of a shake and you'll need to because you can see it settled on the bottom so you will need to give it a good shake um, so give it a spin give it a shake there's a little ball bearing in there so you can hear it shaking it up you probably shake it a bit longer than I'm gonna but just for and then give it a pump and then boom look at that color the colors are just delicious that is in the first one that's the olive that's lovely, isn't it? Really nice light green. Okay, please get hold of these. Um, you can see that purple on there. That's in the second set. Look how rich that is. I really like these. Okay, right. You want to make sure you get these ones. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Only eleven ninety nine. You've got your two sets to choose from. Four nine zero two zero nine is your item number. Now, last but by no means least, a lot of the wonderful finished samples you have seen these stencils on. Um, so it's one of those. They're all over there, but um, they've been using these stencils. Now these are brand new and they're gorgeous. Um, from Daily Art, really like these. Now, um, eight stencils for twelve ninety nine. That is such a good price. Beautiful designs. Now, I was doing my spray painting show yesterday. I can imagine these using your spray paint on um, on tiles or something, can't you? Because they, they just look like they'd sit on a gorgeous tile. But obviously, you can use them as backgrounds. You can use them with all your wonderful pastes. You can use them with your gloss sprays really nice nice detail and you don't have to use the full the full thing like on this little box that is just taking out the center of the stencil so it's literally just picking up one of those little elements from one of the stencils using it with that's with that rust making kit which I just adore I really like that rust making kit I, I love it because rust is one of those that kind of patina look it's one of those that I'm rubbish at. So having a kit with instructions is really handy. You can use part of it, but look at that. You can use the full thing. How cool does that look? Really, really effective. That's with some of um, what she used. So she's used the beautiful stencil, and then she's used some of the, um, the wonderful, that's crafty, texture-based there, but then she's used the bitumen. And the bitumen is going to give you, see where it... It gives you that really kind of distressed look. That bitumen is fabulous for that. Doesn't it look good? So you're putting it on and then rubbing it back off again and it gives you that really intense. Um, and then, there you go. And then you can just spritz through it. Now, if you'd love to get hold of these, they're only twelve ninety nine. dollars um, That's set A, 725-290 is your item number. And then there's set um, which is also rather fabulous. They're both really nice and they're both only £12.99. pence. Um, so set B, look at those designs. Really cool designs. Again, beautiful for layering, um, beautiful for, for working with your, your stencils, but on canvases, these are going to look fabulous. And they're a big stencil. Um, eight by fi uh, sorry, 15 by 15 centimeters. <laughs> um, really good size stencil. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous designs. 
and of course mixing and matching them because some of them aren't as fussy as others so they're really cool for layering up now if you would love to get hold of these see that one that beautiful big print that is fantastic for doing your doodling in with that one um stunning seven two five two nine zero is your item number now i'm really chuffed but we have got some fantastic little clips uh oh um the rust and the patina kit coming up right so what i've done is i've packed um the box and now what we're going to do is we're going to go through three of the different techniques out of the five that are actually the projects that are in the rust and patina kit so I've, I'm just using three of the tags because I do want one of the uh, one that's left to go on a bigger project, which I'm going to show you later. So um, I popped out the cocks and the gears already. They come out ever so easy. They've been cut beautifully. Now you do have all of these bits left. Now you know what I'm like. I don't throw anything away, and I do actually use different things. I don't just stash them and think, oh, they'll come in for another day. These actually will really come in for another day. These definitely will. So, first of all, you've got these fantastic little shapes there that literally have popped out of, of, the, of the board. All right, so I'm going to keep these because I want to use those on my bigger project. Now, these sort of bits here, they're great for lifting up different, um, different areas of a mixed media project when you want different layers. Because, of course, you're not going to see this, so it goes underneath. But again, I'll talk about those later. So I'm going to put those to one side. I do also have um, some cogs left, so you're not going to use them on. And I have used some on another project as well, which is one of the samples. So you do get lots, okay? You can put as many or as little as what you want on. So I'm going to use those in a little while. So I'm going to put these two to one side. All right, they're my other two ideas that I'm going to show you. Uh, the projects on the sheet. So we're going to do the patina but using water and paint for the first one. Okay, so first of all, what we need is we want to bring in the blue turquoise acrylic paint. Right, like I said, we, you do get an awful lot of paint in these little pots. And they're su it's super paint. It really is very, very thick. If you've had any of their paint before, you will know that it is a really excellent quality. So we just want one coat and it covers extremely well on the hardboard as well, which is always good. So just going in around the cogs. Now, don't worry if you miss a little bit, you've seen a little bit of the brown, because of course, what's fantastic about this is this all really comes together at the end, um, put, you know, showing those little bits, and it just looks as if it's part of the project so as long as you get the main areas done you do need to lay this blue down first to get the idea so as we know rust and patina is actually a natural effect that happens um, but of course we can recreate it which is really fantastic um, in crafting and mixed media so you can see how quick that dries that's actually dry um, which I know it's a, quite a warm day today, but it is dry and that's super. So pop the lid onto that. Again, don't don't leave your lids off. Pop your lids back on because you don't want a, a film creating on the actual paint itself. Right, so now what I want to point out is, and we were talking just a few minutes on the, on the previous video, that on the hardboard you've got um, two sides. One side is smooth, and you can see that's smooth and this one is, and then you, the other side has actually got this lovely texture. So if you want to alternate these on, you know, put them in different ways, then that's really quite nice for the different textures. So what we're going to do now is we're going to bring in the bitumen. Okay, so bitumen, um, as I'm sure lots of you know, is something that um, is actually <laughs> used on um, tarmacking the roads, but of course this isn't the same product. This is actually um, an imitation. <laughs> And um, it's actually, it's uh, basically it's to create an uh, antique look and show um, evidence of cracks when you actually do them. We'll be doing some more crackling uh, in a while and I'll be using the bitumen again. But on this actual project, what we're going to do is we're just going to pop some over the blue. All right. And I'm just using it out the lid actually because as you know, with paints and uh, different mediums, you do get quite a lot going on in the lid. 
So you may as well use what you've got out of there first. Right, so I know you're thinking, oh no, then that looks a bit of a mess, but I can assure you it'll be really quite lovely. So there we go, so cover that up. Now, what we need to do is we need, again, pop your lid on. In fact, actually, just, let me just put a little bit more on just so we get a nice layer on. There we go. Don't worry about bush marks because that's all going to change very, very quickly. So I just want to pop my um, brush in some water uh, just for the time being. Now, what we need to do is we need to actually um, spray. So this is where your spray comes in. Now, look at this. Isn't that fantastic? When you spray, what you're getting, you're getting a really fun mix of the blue turquoise coming through, look, through the bitumen. So now what we need to do is we need to dry this. Now don't worry if some of it comes off the tag, because it may happen. All right. And, you know, if it comes off the side, Right, so now what we've got is we've got the bitumen uh, dry, so you can see it's a fantastic effect. And that was purely from drying it with, with the um, heat tool. So you get this really nice um, sort of dark effects in one area. Now what we need to do is we need to actually... Um, I've got a fly there, get off. That's it. Sorry about that. <laughs> I need to just take um, some of the white, okay, some of the green. Now remember, these are all in the kit. So you don't have to be worrying about finding different colours. And some of the monsoon. Right, so now what we need to do is using the spray, we need to water these down a little bit, okay? So I'm going to use the uh, white first. Okay, so I'm just doing a little bit of the white in different areas. And you're doing more of a dabbing technique than you are actually painting it on, okay? So that's, I'm quite happy with that, just around those areas like that, right? I'm going to leave the white just in case I want to top up. Now the green, but this is quite bright and I did at first think, oh my goodness me, that is bright. But when you actually start adding it into the different areas you're going to get lighter areas obviously where you've got the white and you're going to get slightly darker where it goes on to the bitumen so it's quite interesting actually how it does work right and then we're going to go in with the uh, monsoon color all right so just mixing that in like so now again you're going to think that's not quite i've got the glue on there but um Right, so just leave that. Then all we need to do now is just spray this all together like so and let it run. Okay, just let it run down. Obviously I've got my glass mat or a messy mat or whatever you want to put on and just wipe, just wipe those areas away. Just tap it out just like this. Okay. And look how gorgeous that is. Now, if we want to do what we can do, we can add any more bitumen on top if we want to. Give it a little bit of a dry. Okay, dry it in between because what you don't want is to be adding different things on and it's um, actually looking really muddy because um, it's not it's not pleasant. Okay. Alright, so now what we can do is if we want to do just add a little bit more just here and there if you want to just add that little bit more onto there. Give it another little spray. Okay, and then let it just run again like so. Okay, and then when you're ready, when you're happy, that's it, just leave it. And it's super to go onto one of your projects. Oh, see, they're beautiful. And that's a lovely thing. Uh, Joel, thank you very much. Joel rang up, we found the box. <laughs> 
Um, thank you, Joe. They were when I got to spritzers. Our uh, Joe went. There's more. There's more finished samples. There's more finished samples. Uh, thank you, Joe. We found them. They've been put on the other side of the building. Um, what Joe was working on. You have got step-by-step -step instructions. This kit is amazing. You've got your step-by-step -step instructions, but then you've got the products. It's a full kit for twenty-four ninety-nine. That is such a good price. Not only is it a full kit to create these beautiful tags, to create that gorgeous look, but you've got, because you've got all those paints in this, you've got all those paints. I mean, that alone is phenomenal, but you've got enough that will last you. So, of course, you're not just going to be decorating the tags. You'll be doing loads with... Oh, oh. You'll be doing loads with this. It's a really cool kit, is this one. And I love the fact that it's going to inspire you how to use those beautiful products so you can create things like this. Isn't it gorgeous? And I love it because all of these have been created with the same kit. And that's a lovely thing with about getting your instructions, but also with getting so many different paints. And there is so much you can do. Let me have a look at this. Is this from this one as well? Oh, that's cool. Because look, that's before. I love this. Picture before and then after. Isn't that just beautiful what she used? So she's used, can you see that texture there? That's the same texture paste that you're getting in this kit. I bet the bitumen, I bet that's your bitumen as well. I love that stuff. Anything that you see that's got that fantastic sort of two-tone of, well, that really, um, oh, what's the word for that? It is like antique, essentially. That's your bitumen. 24, it shan't be shrink. Uh, 24 99 for that whole kit. Fantastic price. 823-360, that's your item number. Now, a couple more bits and bobs that we've got on the show. We've got a lot of stuff on the show to prefer. Um, we have got more a different kit with the bitumen. So if you just want the bitumen or you're just stacking up... A, do you know what? I've got this, and this is cracking. Um, that is just your one part crackle, which is really good. And it's the same size as that bitumen that we've already shown you for 9.99. The prices of daily are, are fantastic. Um, that's 078168. That's a cracking kit, is that? We've then got more acrylic paints for you now. Look at this, 24 acrylic paints for £20. 24 acrylic paints and you've already seen these are lovely thick acrylic paints so you can water these down you've obviously got the extender in that other kit um 790714 really really cool um right have a look at the website because obviously with daily art we have got so many different products so please check those out right these sprays yay i started spritzing and then we found the box. Um, but let me just find the first one, definitely that. This is the top set. Thank you, Joe. Um, and look at these. These are all dry. Look at the shine on them. And look at the colours as well. The colours are beautiful. So you've got that wonderful royal yellow, the cut grass, the aubergine, which is stunning, the snow white. So that is on black card. And that's the actual white that you see in there. The orange and then that beautiful olive. Really like these. They're gorgeous. That's your first collection. Your second collection... Um, and of course, you've got different colours here. So you've got the scarlet, again with that wonderful sheen. You've got the rich blue, that wonderful melted chocolate, which is gorgeous. Uh, you've then got coming down that wonderful sunny yellow, the pine green. The pine green's really interesting because in the actual tube, it looks really, really dark, but that's a gorgeous colour. And then that sunny yellow. And let me show you, see, the other yellow, the right... Um, the royal yellow is more mustardy, isn't it? It's like a more a richer yellow. So you have got two different sorts of yellows there. Really like them. They're gorgeous. Then obviously you're creating backgrounds. You're creating incredible, um, fantastic glazes as well with this. Set number one's winning currently. Um, so if you do want to get hold of that one, look at the crackle. Remember, you're getting the crackle in that first kit. Your crackle lacquer. Um, beautiful. Now, if you would like to get hold of these set, one is in the lead with that wonderful orange and yellow, but they're both really cool. 11 99 
good prices. 490209 is your item number. I'll quickly show you the stencils and then we have got another uh, fantastic clip to show you. This is set one and this is just gorgeous. Now, is that set one? Yes, it is. Um, set A, set A, look at that. These are all done with your gorgeous text space. Of course it is, says our Jack. Um, all done with beautiful text space. Look at this. That were really funny, Jack. Um, absolutely beautiful designs. And see, whichever way you look at that, it works, doesn't it? Really like these. I think these are just really classic designs. You know, however you use them. And I just think they create such a beautiful, beautiful um, sort of flow. They've got that kind of look. And I like the size of these. You know, there's tons you can do with these. And obviously with something like that, because you've got a big open space, it really allows you to, to play with that design. Now, that's the first collection. Gorgeous. Um, let me show you this one, because that one's been sent in. Look at that, that's well cool. So she's used the sand paste, she's used the acrylic paste, she's then used a the crackle glaze, and that's a large crackle that you'll see on there. Um, the gloss sprays and the patina wax, which we have got on the uh, the website. And look, look at the stencils, isn't that phenomenal? So much going on there, um, beautiful. The patina wax, just there for you, 086255. Um, it doesn't say which colour. And it's made out of an old cake base. I love it. Everyone's just recycling, aren't they? Um, 725290 is your item number. Um, right, now, you have got your other collection. Check that one out. But because of time, we're going to get to that other demonstration video. Um, oh, let's have a see what's occurring. Right, so this is our second technique. Um, it's actually um, obviously one of the, one of the uh, projects on the uh, information sheet as well. So you've got that um, if you do order the kit. Now, first of all, we're going to cover that entire surface with the monsoon colour. So just popping this over the top of everything. So again, what I've done is just to um, remind you I've took the cogs and gears that are in the kit and used the glue, uh, the wood glue that's also in the kit and popped the cogs and gears down, alright, where I wanted them to be and I've placed uh, two on the smooth side and one on the texture side. So there we go, that's that covered already and pop the lid on, lovely. So I do need to just quickly give this a blast because you need to actually dry this take it in seconds because it's, it's really almost dry anyway. In fact it is. There we go. There we are. Right, so the other colours that we're going to need are the yellow, the red ochre and the saddle brown. You might think, oh, this is going to be a bit bright with this yellow, which it is a lovely bright yellow, I've got to say. It's a beautiful colour. Now, this is the rust, remember. We've did the patina and now we're doing the rust. Okay, so we want some of the yellow out and we need to wet it like we did with the first technique with the patina and water that down. Okay, so it's important to water it down. Then what you need to do is just put areas down. No specific way, wherever you want them. And at the minute, you go, it's going to look a little bit bright and you think it's not going to really look very rusty to me, but I promise you it will. Right, so that's that. That's the yellow. Pop your lid on. And then uh, we just need to um, give that a very quick blast. There we go. And then we're going to be using the ochre at the top of the lid again. Put a little bit down, pop some water on, there we go, getting more into the rusty colours now, obviously, put in that different areas. Now at any time uh, when you get to the end, if you wanted to add a little bit more of one colour, that's absolutely fine to get it just how you want it to be. So that might be enough, I'll put the lid on there 
and then we're going to go in with the uh, the saddle brown so it's, it's quite a, um, a different brown to this to the ochre so it will make a difference that was far too much I'll put some of that back there we go again water it down and pop this wherever you want on top of some of the other down the side of some of it you know lay, layer it up and see what you think when it's already done okay now what we're going to do is we're going to take the water like we did earlier and we're going to spray it okay and then we're going to mix the colours together let them run a little bit okay now what I would do if I've got a little bit more time obviously I would have picked that up with some paper and used it as backgrounds because that would be really lovely but Afraid not on this occasion, we don't have the time. There we go. Uh, give it a dry in between. So now what you can see is you can see the monsoon coming through, which is really lovely. There we are. I think I have a little tiny bit more of I'm happy with that. There we go. And that's okay. And then what we're going to do is, on this one, I'm going to turn this there. So you can see. Oops, turn that up. See, you can see now the natural, um, all the rusty colours all coming through now can't you so i'm just going to pop that lid on now what we need now is the bitumen okay so this is the bitumen a little bit of it like so and again we need to um water that down just bear with me i need to put some that's it like this okay and then we need to just go over the tops and round and this is what's going to give the aging look, okay? Over the top, the different areas. And again, we can add some more of this if we want to do in a few minutes, okay? Let me just pop that on there. We need to spray it with water. Mix it around a little bit. And you'll see now it's really got that beautiful rusty type of effect going on now. So all of those colours mixed together really give it really authentic look. So just give that a quick blast. Right, so I dried it off and as you can see it's really got that fabulous rusty um, the mixed colours there. You see the yellows, you can see the different types of the the ready browns as well. Now the one thing that um, I have done as well, I've added a little bit more bitumen because I wanted to just emphasise around these um, gears, the cogs and gears. Now what I've found is when I first put it on um, when I, uh, and you water it down and pop it onto the background, that looks fantastic, it really does. But if you go in with it neat, actually just out of the out of the actual bottle itself. Okay, let me show you. And uh, this is really quite cool. Just take it a little bit, a little bit round there as well, just on that bit there. Just round there. Okay, so it's not too thick, but it's 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 there. If you see what I mean, it's not. Too, I haven't put any water in, and then you need to take your heat tool and just give it. That little bit of warm, and then if you can see, can you see that, Mr. Cameraman? AKA Mark. He's in. <laughs> Can 
There we go. Can you see? It's just, just warming and it's giving it a little bit of a bubble. It needs to be quite quick, or especially if it's a nice day like today, it will dry quite quickly. But as you can see, it just gives a much thicker appearance. Let's get more on there, I think. Right, pop that into the water. Now, what we're going to do is, just to finish off this demonstration, I just put warm that, just so that you can get that really good bubbly effect on there. So what it's giving you there, it's giving you like um, an area where the rust is really pitted and um, it looks really quite effective. There we go, that's not fun. Oh yeah, that's nice. Lovely. Right, so leave that as it is because now what I want to do is I want to just finish off by bringing in the patina. So um, the patina, the copper that's in the box, take a little bit, oh that's far too much, here we go, put that back in there. Right, take that out. Now what I want to do, I want to do this with a dry brush. So take a little bit of the patina, pop it onto one on your cloth and then just, oh you pop it, oh I'll get a bit with my finger. Here we go, look, just pop it around just a tiny bit i'm just flicking hardly touching it at all but it really brings out that really nice effect of the the rust now if i just tilt this just slightly i'm hoping can you get that does it look yeah that look nice now that is the rusty technique now each and every single time it's going to look different so have fun with that all right that am i here yeah i'm here look am i here that's what she made actually yeah there's a brown one when she were doing it oh i don't know which one it were now i've mixed all my piles up i have i've mixed my piles up Look at all of them. I'm going to show you all of them. Look at these. I love these. Yeah. No, I'm not sure now. Look at this. Uh, uh, can I see the picture better? Because, unless she's done a different variation of... It's definitely not that. Because there's a sticker on back saying that were from the thingy. Yay, it is that one. That says Demo 3. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that? I love these. I love these. I, I want to see. I want to see that one. That, when I pick that up, doesn't it look like paper? That's not paper. But the, the lovely thing is, that kit, that um, kit with all the paints and the rust and the patina, you get the instructions so you will be able to learn how to do these. Also, of course, um, the videos that we're showing you, um, our Joe's videos, they'll still be available on Catch Up. So when you get your kits delivered to your door, you'll still be able to look back and have a see what Joe did. Um, okay, now um, we're going to do a couple of uh, pictures and numbers because we have got our seven day savers. Now um, we've got, oh, do you know what we have got? We've got an Ablanche one day special launching tomorrow. Um, this is Leblanche marmalade uh, shrink foils. You've got 18 pieces in total. Um, these are going to be dispatched from the 12th of May. You're saving £19 on that one. Only £11.99. pence. Really, really cool. And you've seen when Blanche demonstrates these, just how phenomenal they are. Um, that is uh, 649013. Uh, we've then got for you uh, the beautiful MDF. I really like this. I think that is quite fabulous. I love the cats. I think they're well -less. So you've got your little cats. You could rust up the cats. Um, you've got your little cats and then you've got the wonderful blanks as well and the little mouse look at the mouse the world look at the mousey they're well cute i really like them 18 quid you're saving uh, you're only spending 17 pounds and 97 pence i bet they're quite big then aren't they i'm not too sure the sizes um five eight four six uh, seven six eight is your item number Really like them, the cool. Um, if you do want anything, check your baskets out at chanda.com or you can ring us 0173360 2000. Um, a quick look at the lacquer. Uh, what, what's it, cracker lacquer? 
You have to say that. Uh, at home, have a go. It's great. Crackle lacquer. <laughs> um, so, you've got, yeah, it is crackling lacquer. Crackling lacquer. But crackle lacquer sounds better. Um, so, your crackling lacquer, so you've got your small crackle, you've got a large crackle, and then you've got your matte varnish or your glow and your gloss varnish. So, that's all your, your products. But then you're getting tons of pearlescent powders. You're getting the big pot of copper, but then you're getting all of these. You'll be mixing these with your crackle. You'll be dusting these on. You'll be mixing these with uh, your sand paste that we've got on the Today Show. Mixing them with, um, maybe you're going to mix them with some of the acrylic paints, changing the colour, giving them a pearlescent sheen. I mean, you've got a beautiful pearlescent there. You can mix any of your pearl, pearl paints um, with that one to get that beautiful pearlescent sheen. Absolutely sensational. I love that green. I just think that's fantastic. Really, really like them. That is such a huge kit for £32.98. Um, 464909. Now, <laughs> we um, now we have had a little look at demo three when I was showing you those tags. I've popped them on Facebook as well, so you can see them um, in more detail. But let's have a look at Jo with another fantastic technique. Right for this last tag, um, uh, I've got a bit of a mix and a match of a couple of different projects on the actual sheet. Um, so you know, this is just a, another idea, and this one's going to have a lot more texture. Okay, so we're going to be using the red ochre and the turquoise. So um, I'm going to actually cover the tag in the first instance with the red ochre. So we're going to get, it's more of a rust than it is a, a patina on this one, although we are going to be using a little bit of the blue. So it's a bit of a, like I say, it's a really nice effect. And it's a uh, it's one that um, I've just had a play around with, and of course, as we know, all crafters do this, don't we? Especially with mixed media, we have a little bit of play with what we've got in front of us, and we come up with some different ideas, which is all great fun. That's that's what it's all about. So just covering the areas with the the red ochre, and again, like I said. On the other two, don't worry if you don't have absolutely everything because, of course, the brown on the tag will go with the theme anyway. Right, just give that a very quick blast. And it, as, you, as you can see, it's already almost dry. There we go. So, now what I want to do is um, I want to put um, a little bit of the blue. Okay, so... I've already got a little bit of brown on there, but that doesn't matter because I don't want it to be bright, really bright blue. Okay, I just want it to be more dulled down a little bit. A little bit of the brighter blue out of the pot. Then you've got a couple of different colours there going on, which is quite nice. I'm just really quickly brass that. These are really fun to do, the tags, um, and it gives you a great um, um, grounding for when you want to do a, a bigger project. Now, I'm now bringing in the sand texture paste. Of course, this is in your kit, so um, uh, that you know you don't have to look out for it. And what I'm doing is also I'm mixing in a little bit of the patina copper into the actual sand texture paste okay so now what we've got is we've got that really lovely metallic going on tiny bit more of that into our brilliant paste so don't be frightened of mixing different things into your paste all right any of your colors now as you can see i'm using uh, my palette knife but of course you go in with a brush if you want everything's water-based so it's not going to make any problems for anything that you actually use and just pop it in different areas you want it textured okay you want it to look like it's rust from an old can that you've had ages 
stuck in the garden or something like that. Now I want to bring in a little bit of the bitumen. Now I'm going to actually take it on there neat. I'm not putting any water into it, okay? And just add in some of that here and there. Mix a little bit in on top of the paste. And then what we're going to do is we're going to heat this, okay? And let's see what happens. Right, now, hopefully, it's going to bubble. There we go. So what we get is the sand in the texture paste is going to create that faux rust appeal that we're actually trying to get. Okay. Which you can see is working really well. All of that. And there we go. You just do it for a few more minutes, all right, um, to give it that little bit more bubbly effect. But you can see that it really is quite cool, isn't it? Then if we just take our patina just on our finger now and just run it over the tops. Be careful there. Just leave it for a few minutes because that's quite warm. Not hot, hot, but it might be quite warm underneath where we've actually bubbled. Okay, and then I want to just dry my brush off with the bitumen. I'm just very lightly, just dry brush over the top of that. And there we go. Excuse the mess. But there we are. Let me just move all that out of the way for you. And I think you'll agree that that's quite cool. I love Joe's demonstrations. Joe, thank you. Every wake up. <laughs> that was because I've been eating all my fruit and drunk all my coffee and we're only one hour in. I've eaten all my food. <laughs> um, half of the stock has gone of this. Uh, it's a brilliant kit. I, I love this kit because I, it's the techniques. You're learning those techniques. You're learning all the things that our Joe was showing you. Um, you're going to learn how to do these. You've got a fantastic little step-by-step -step instruction. It's got one of those fancy code things as well. Oh, a key walker code. <laughs> a keen walker. It's got one of them. Um, and that'll take you to your online instructions. And I just think this is cool because, because you've got so much in the kit. You've got your base. So as soon as you get it, you're going to be crafting. But then you've got loads of paints. I mean, these paints, these are going to last. And you've got a really good colour collection there as well. Um, so you've got all your acrylic paints and a really good co uh, colour combination. Absolute basics in there. All your basics. You've then got a massive tub of your, your bitumen, or a, a good, not massively, on it, come on, but a good size tub of your bitumen. That will last ages. Um, you've got your sand texture, which is lovely. Um, you've then got your extender, which will allow these paints to go even further. Your beautiful copper patina. Um, the glue, of course, the wood glue that you'll learn how to use, and then your spritzer bottle everything you need to create so many fantastic looks and you see when you look at things like this i mean that has got all sorts going on but you've definitely got the crackle from the first one crackle lacquer in the first one you've definitely got um the wonderful paints in there as well and much more besides i reckon you've got some of those beautiful pearlescent sheens uh from the first kit in there um please make sure you check your baskets out we are running out of time there's so many cool 
I mean, look at that. That's well cool. Um, there is another show at 11 o'clock. I'm just holding things up now so you can see them before we run out of time. Um, make sure you tune in because we've got different demonstrations as well. So even more inspiration. Don't miss out on those gorgeous stencils. Don't miss out on your crackle lacquer. Um, don't miss out on any of it. Uh, but don't go anywhere because we've got lots more coming up. Um, stay tuned. Coming up, we have Craft Stool, it's your one day special. We've then got the wonderful Mama Makes, and then we've got some gorgeous kits from Quilting Antiques. I will see you for Craft Stool. If you love cake and you love to bake, we've got something you're going to enjoy. Here at Achanda's Crafty Kitchen, we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating, who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavoring ideas, baking kits in a bottle, and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. Watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilize within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, set your temperatures, set your timers, and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on the Crafty Kitchen. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind. So they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects. And paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons. So tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. 